Hi, I'm Pablo. I'm Gabe. And we're Mattress Makers. And in this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna go over the pros and cons of memory foam. So one reason memory foam is a great material in a mattress is because of the motion isolation. We have all seen the commercial where there's the glass of wine on one side of the bed and there's a person jumping on the other side of the bed and the glass of wine stays perfectly still. We tried that test in the store and it works. And there's no better material at, at isolating the motion than memory foam. So if you're a light sleeper and share your bed with someone and you don't want to feel them moving around in bed at night, then memory foam is the best material in keeping that motion isolation away from you. One drawback of memory foam is the slow responsiveness of the material. Majority of us are active sleepers, meaning we don't sleep in just one position, but we actually move from one side to the other. A memory foam works against you if you're trying to move from one side to the other because a material responds slower than traditional foams or latex. The reason this is a drawback is because it can take you out of your deep sleep if you're trying to move over because you actually have to work to roll over in a memory foam mattress. And so it actually works against you than actually than working with you. Another reason memory foam is a great material is the pressure relief it provides. One of the better materials for pressure relief is memory foam. Because memory foam is a slow response material, there is no pushback against your body, so you shouldn't feel pressure in those sensitive spots like your shoulders and your hips, which are typically going to be more sensitive. Another drawback of memory foam is the heat factor. Simply put, memory foam sleeps the hottest compared to traditional polyurethane foam, which is found in most mattresses and also latex. If you have seen any of the advertisements from some of those online mattress companies, that is the angle they typically take when it comes to memory foam. It seems that they are always talking about how memory foam sleeps super hot and the person is waking up in a pile of sweat. Now, although it is true that memory foam does sleep the hottest, not everyone that has a memory foam will sleep hot. It's mainly for those that typically run hotter, the body temperature runs hotter. So if your body temperature runs hotter, avoid memory foam. The reason it sleeps hotter is because of the breathability. Whether it's infused with gel, copper, or diamonds, or any other type of cooling agents, those don't really help with the breathability and allowing your body heat to go through the material as opposed to staying right at the surface of it, which typically what happens in memory foam. So if your body tends to run hotter, then stay away from memory foam. Another benefit of memory foam is how well it conforms to the body. We've seen the ad with the lady lying on the memory foam mattress and you can see how the mattress conforms to her body perfectly. Memory foam does an excellent job at filling in all the gaps so that the mattress is in direct contact with your body. It is also proportionally distrib distributes your body weight throughout the entire mattress. Another con for memory foam pertains to making it happen. Yes, that's right, sex. Because of the slow responsiveness, it is harder to move around in a memory foam mattress, thus not responding as good as other mattresses when you and that special someone are trying to get busy. So if you want to be a little bit more active in bed, just remember that it'll take a bit more effort in memory foam mattress than others. And what we have right here, Pablo, he's going to demonstrate for us. Well, since I left my memory foam mattress, I have now three kids. So if you want birth control, get a memory foam mattress. That's good. Another pro for memory foam is the easiness to compare memory foam between different brands. In a memory foam mattress, there are really only two components to research, the quality of the base layer and the quality of the memory foam top layer. Knowing the quality of the base layer foam and memory foam used, you can compare pricing against other brands and also get an idea of the durability of the mattress. The higher the density of the foam, the higher quality it is. The lower the density, it's going to break down faster and it's going to be a lot cheaper. So we recommend looking for at least a five pound memory foam. That is going to be a lot more durable and it's going to be a heavier weight and it's just it's going to last you a lot longer. Another con in memory foam is the odor of memory foam. Memory foam mattresses tend to off-gas the most and is known for being really smelly. Now this can have an effect in some people, especially those who are sensitive to chemicals. But in any case, make sure both the base layer foam and the memory foam are CertiPure, which means the foams have been tested and certified to have a lot less harmful chemicals than those that haven't been certified. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the pros and cons of memory foam. And if you have some feedback, please leave them in the comments below. And also don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to learn more about mattress shopping, head over to our website, mattressmakers.com. You can download our mattress shopping guide. Also, it'll be in the link description below. I'm Gabe. I'm Pablo. And we're Mattress Makers. Sleep well. <laughs>